Happy New Year, guys. I've been traveling, and when I come back home to Singapore, I have to fill in a health decoration form. Now, as a permanent resident, it's actually a lot easier than the form a tourist might fill in. But still, I think just for historical context, at uh, the beginning of 2023, end of 2022, I want to show you how badly designed this form is so that hopefully the government can improve it or preferably just do away with it altogether. So let's try do this. Like, like finding the form, the correct form with the public sector is, is the challenge itself because often they keep the old forms around. But okay, here we are. So mistake number one is just a crazy amount of text. Now, the first time I came across this, I couldn't find out what I needed to do. You will, the astute of you might um, see that you, that they have this click here. So that's always just like, you know, a code smell, an anti-pattern. Never link a URL with this click here type thing. It just shows you, you don't know what you're doing. You gotta put it in context. You gotta have a call to action, a button. So anyway, I, since I'm a permanent resident, this is what I need to do. So this is like, you know, mistake, de web design number one here, way too much text and a call to action that just somehow buried it in this click here thing. Awful. Now, um, you can fill this in advance so you can update it. It gets just really just stupidly complicated. But, um, and then way, way too much text. Uh, okay, what do I have to do now? I think I need to do it like this one, right? Okay, okay. So this is what I need to fill in. <laughs> I found it. Um, now, okay, now NIRC, that's my personal identifier. I'm just going to put something random here. First problem I feel is that they don't use uh, a, a input date uh, time thing. So this is some weird, um, uh, what do you call it? Thing that does, it doesn't actually work. Oh, it just worked some JavaScript React monstrosity. Now, um, the email address thing is mind boggling. Um, it wants, e email addresses are case insensitive, but most people don't probably know that. But for some reason they put it in all caps and then really confusingly, they want me to put it in twice. I don't really see the point of doing that. Maybe with passwords, it's kind of like kind of, I don't know. What do you guys think? I really don't like the fact that I'm having to put this into us. Again, I think it's an anti-pattern. Another um, terrible input time thing where it's just non-trivial to select, you know, today. I'll have a link in the description to issues with the input date time element. It's not all perfect. Now ask me some health decoration questions. Uh, for things like you think they might know about, like for example, if I'm coming back from Africa, maybe maybe this should be pre-filled. I, I I don't know. So I ask you a whole bunch of questions, and just instinctively you just want to go through it. No, 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 no. But no, here it's a very strange drop-down menu thing going on here. Oh no, I just realised I didn't turn on my microphone. Yeah, this is why it's quite a good idea to have a couple of microphones going. This is terrible. It, it should be a radio button, right? It just should be a radio button. No. And so you have to do like three more interactions than you probably wanted to. No. Okay. Um, I think I've filled this in correctly. A lot of text. I think there's some calculators. Link in the description where, where, where essentially it says if you put too many words in a, in a thing, the readability score just goes right down. And this is a typical example where the readability is terrible. Then it does this weird um, modal, fake modal here. It makes everything quite confusing. Of course, depending on the phone, it might not render correctly. Um, and then it's going to complain about my NRC. Hmm, how can I put this in without putting my real NRC in there? Uh, okay, I'm just going to probably. If I click next here, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't go back to the actual problematic element. Um, um, I wonder if I can get a fake NIRC just to... Like, I didn't even type in generator. It just automatically Google suggested it. It can read my mind now. 9588. 
G. Nine. S six four four nine five eight eight G. Okay, so for the purposes of this demonstration, click next, continue. Now it gives you a, basically just regurgitates what you've just filled in before, but you don't really know, so you feel maybe obligated to read through it again. Uh, and then there's this boilerplate legalese that you're also supposed to read through. It's just like 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 text, and then finally you're supposed to say that you've actually read all that text. I mean, anyone sitting down reading all this text on a tiny little screen, I I, I don't know how people do that. And then the final insult to injury is that you're supposed to fill in a capture. You know. Multiply that by your family members, uh, you know, if you've got kids and elderly, you have to fill this in at the airport. I mean, it's just a disgrace for Singa Singapore residents, never mind the tourists, which have a much more difficult form to fill in. I know this probably form is used to like somehow control COVID and everything like that, but realistically, it's not at the moment, and it's just... It just makes Singapore look bad. So I really hope that everyone now understands what crappy form design looks like. And um, and hopefully this will go away. Please go away. Please go away, crappy form. And have a good 2023 where things can only get better, right? Bye, guys.